Roblox Islands has just updated, and this is crazy, bro. Like, Islands hasn't updated in, like, 10 months, and it just randomly updated. Now, it is not a big update whatsoever, but they have fixed one of the most crucial bugs what was losing the player count. So, now, as you most people know, is that water buckets and lava buckets could place inside of each other. Now, this is a huge problem where people would publish their shop, right? and they would go ahead and give free build. Now some little troll would be like, hee hee ha ha, let me go in and place a bunch of water buckets on one separate block. But if we go to the island's announcements, Spleenhook has updated islands. So he disabled placing water slash lava. Now this is a bit sad, but the reason why they've done this is since someone could go ahead and spam water on one individual block and completely wreck the game. So basically what would happen is it would kick the island, it would lag the island so much, so the player would lag so much that they can't load physically back into their island because they had so much water on their island. So now, I think, I'm not sure, if you have water placed on your island, it may still be there. Let me know in the comments if it is. If it's not, everyone who got waterlogged or lava logged should be able to load back into the game. I'm not sure about this, but you won't be able to place water or lava, what's a bit unfortunate, but it was a very laggy uh, object, and it would basically ban people from the game forever since they wouldn't be able to load back in. Now, if for some odd reason you couldn't load back in for giving someone build or something, go ahead and see if you can load back in. Anyway, that's not it what they've added. So, uh, well, they haven't really added anything, but they kind of just updated the game, what is insane. Um, so they reduced the length of some tutorial steps. Now, I don't really know what that means, but I think it's just some tutorial, like, they've just made it so it's easier the game to complete. If you know what they are, tell me in the comments, but it's insane to blow my mind that they actually care about the game now. Like, this could mean, one, they're going to come back to the game and they're getting prepared to, or two, they just wanted to make sure no one was getting banned no more since I had so many complaints. Now, now this is just crazy on how Splinhook just came out and randomly updated at 3.32 p.m. for me by disabling water and lava, what I really like that they're actually listening to the community, saying that, like, people could get banned for that because it was a massive glitch in this, like, a massive glitch. Now, I'm not sure if they've fixed the totem one. That's the only big glitch at the moment is the totem one, and that's really it, but the reduced length of some tutorials, that's another one, but, I, I like, that's not really a bug or anything. I think they just did that for, I, I have no clue why, but, but yeah, leave me your thoughts down in the comments, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video or live stream YouTube, but this is insane. Adios.